EBITDA margin analysis by Pure Rating. Pure Rating performs EBITDA margin analysis for all companies up to a total period of 10 years back. Small and private investors often use only the price earnings ratio as an analytical tool. They buy qualitatively safe, but usually 20 to 30% more expensive stock that way. This actually reduces your profits and according to the value investing strategy, also the margin of safety. Companies often hide their profits in the income statement and balance sheet because they need reserves for an unclear future. This falsifies the price earnings ratio. Price earnings ratio generally reacts late while investors who also consider other company data are already invested in those equities. This happens often in reversals upward. More professional investors use other indicators and company data such as the EBITDA earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. What is hiding behind that expression, EBITDA? Take the annual net profit of a company and adjust it by adding the interest charges, interest, corporate taxes, depreciation, and intangible assets, i.e. the amortization, and subtract those attributions. Companies often transfer their profits and losses within their subsidiaries. For this, they charge interest, whereby these credit transactions are nowhere part of their core businesses, unless they are an actual bank. Therefore, an adjustment is performed again to be able to make a better estimate of the validity of the company's core business. Corporate taxes are a position that might also be transferred to a subsidiary where the taxes are currently the cheapest. Corporations like to set up subsidiaries in low-tax countries in order to actually increase the profits where they are least costly at the same time. Therefore, we have to adjust the company's earnings numbers again by adding the taxes back to the profits. And it does not matter what strategy top management actually pursues. Depreciation. Even with this position, not only companies like to play plenty, but also politicians. Thus, depreciation periods of capital equipments are consequently changed by the government to influence economic cycles. So in times of crises, the government can stimulate their economy by actually shortening depreciation periods, thus giving companies an incentive to increase investments. Consequently, also an adjustment is performed to get a better key figure for a company's profitability. Therefore, your investment decisions should never be made solely on the basis of the price-earnings ratio alone. Consequently, you should better take the EBITDA into account as well as the methods of value investing and technical analysis. This all sounds very complicated and elaborate, and actually it is. But don't worry, we do those calculations for you and you can select the stocks with the best future prospects. The solution for this is EBITDA margin. EBITDA margin is a ratio of EBITDA to the company's revenues. Thus, we derive the amount of earnings before interest and taxes, etc., on a company's turnover given in percent. Consequently, the profitability of a company can be assessed. Target is above 10%, depending on the industry. Now, this example of 10% means of each euro or dollar revenue, 10% of profit before tax and amortization remain for the company. It's actually pretty good. EBITDA is free of depreciation influences. The international comparison of the profitability of companies will be simplified that way and is hence more expressive for us. The effects of different forms of financing are neutralized and thus you can be in a better position to decide in which company you would like to invest in. The help of the EBITDA margin calculation, you will be able to select the stock with the best future prospects. As a subscriber to one of our market letters, you'll actually be able to call up the EBITDA margin analysis online, updated daily, clearly displayed, either as a table as well as in a chart for each company and instantaneously available to you.